Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptive channel. Today I am going to explain you about SSL TLS termination in application load balancer and network load balancer. Okay, so uh, the first sec first uh, I'm gonna take application load balancer. So I'm, I will be explaining you about two scenarios. Okay, so one is this is our client, a happy client. Okay and uh, we have installed ssl tls certificate in uh, and, and of course we have imported that into acm or iam over here into this okay so as you can see we have an encrypted connection from client to our alb okay but once it reaches over here right uh, the alb it automatically terminates and this is an un, uh, unencrypted connection okay through our ec2 instance so this is one connection from client to our alb and here is the second connection so there are two connections established with layer 7 elb okay so this is the first scenario we have discussed now let's look at the second scenario where sorry where this is our client uh, and there is an encrypted connection over here we have an ssl tls certificate already installed and we again have an uh, an encrypted connection over here you see it as a green glow right it's because we have self-signed certificate that is installed on our ec2 okay so uh, <coughs> this both are now encrypted connections okay so this provide a more secure we can say okay more security probably uh, let's look at the nlb now so we have our happy client again there is a single encrypted connection okay why because this is this uh, uh you know when it reaches to the nlb okay uh we have ssl tls public certificate that is installed in our ec2 okay we don't have any certificates installed and configured for our NLB. And this is a single encrypted connection. Okay. Next is. Uh, let's look at the second scenario where, where we both, both our uh, NLB and our EC2, both are having SSL TLS certificate. Okay. So this, this is also fully encrypted connection. Okay. So some of the key points to remember okay one well, i mean for the nlb okay this is single encrypted connection straight from the client to our ec2 why because we have ssl tls public certificate configured on for our ec2 okay next is there will be two encrypted connections the reason is we have uh, both our nlb and ec2 both are having this ssl tls certificates okay so there will be two connections over here same way for the alb if you see we are having uh, what, uh like first scenario right from the client to our alb so there is an encrypted connection all all at a single point okay up till the alb this will be an un unencrypted connection okay second scenario what we looked is there are two, uh, there will be two connections. Okay. One is with the SSL TLS certificate that is installed on our ALB. So this is one connection, which is already, all, uh, which is encrypted one. Next is, uh, since we have self-signed certificate installed on our EC2, there will be an encrypted connections, connection from our ALB to EC2. So these are the scenarios what we looked for ELB and uh, NLB. Okay. So that's it for this session, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.